Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a go at making a little ice lolly cake. So I've started with a cake drum that's 12 by 20 inches, so it's a rectangle, you can change the size, and I've cut a piece of cake to 6 by 14 inches. And this is going to be my ice lolly, so I've cut two the same. So this was a bigger sheet of cake that I've cut up to this size, and I'm putting buttercream between the middle of the two pieces of cake. So this one's the same size as the underneath one, so that's just two layers that I've put on there. Then what I'm going to do is cut a line in diagonally going up. So it's kind of like a twister ice lolly that I want this one to be like. So I'm going to try and make them equal distances apart. And can you see I've cut line and then we're cutting slants. We're cutting at an angle so that we get slopes on each section. Then I'm just going to trim the edge slightly so it's a bit more rounded rather than square at the very edge. Do that both sides. I think I might have taken a little bit more off on this side than the other side. That's not on purpose. Try and keep them the same both sides. And I'm going to cover the whole thing in buttercream. Now you can use ganache if you like. Um, I had to go quite soft with my buttercream on this one so they didn't scrape up bits of cake crumbs and it still did a little bit and it was quite an awkward shape to get my palette knife around so I gave it five minutes and then I've got this cake cloth. Uh, this is the Queen of Hearts Couture cake cloth that I'm using and I'll put links in the description box to this and to everything else that I've used in the video. But I just pat that over the cake just to smooth the buttercream. Then I've got some ready to roll fondant in white. I'm just going to roll it big enough that it covers my entire cake. I'm going to rub gently into those cracks or lines that I put in. And I'm just going to cut off any extra all the way around the outside edge. Do this all the way around. And I've got some pink as well. Now I thought I'd go for pink and white for the colour on this one. I've rolled my pink as thin as I can get it without it tearing because if not it's going to be a lot of fondant and it's going to stick out a lot more than the white so nice and thin and can you see we're just layering it on so it goes over like each of these stripe bits or the bumpy bits on my cake so I haven't really cut it to shape but I'm trying to line up one edge in like my crack and then I'll cut across the top edge I didn't do that very carefully and I missed where it should go so I'll just cut a little bit more off the only thing is I have been left with a little bit of a cut line where I pressed quite firmly with the knife. It looks like a flump at this stage and I've mixed like a turquoisey colour for my little sunglasses that I'm going to give my lollipop. And I've got two heart shaped cutters, I'm going to cut out the small one. Then I'm laying the paste that I've got and it is modelling paste that I'm using now, not fondant. I'm going to lay it onto a thin piece of black modelling paste. Then I'm going to cut over the top with my black cutter. So it leaves me with my little glasses shape. So this one's got heart shaped glasses. And I'll do that again for the other side. And now let's make a little mouth. So just a ball squished down. And I only want a semicircle. So we'll just cut a little bit off the bottom of that that we can use. Now I think let's give it a little pink tongue. So it's some of the pink that I've got left over from the cake. So a little ball squashed. And then we've just pressed like a little indentation down on the top. Then before I stick the mouth on, we're going to give it some shading. So I'm just using some edible dusts. Again, I'll put links in the description box below the video to everything that I'm going to use. I've just got a soft brush and we're just kind of dusting that on. So it's just being dusted on while it's still dry. Maybe even a little bit on top of my tongue. And can you see where I've dusted? It's kind of down the cracks. It's darker on the edges and the cracks, but not so much in the middle. And let's stick our mouth in place. Now... I've got plenty of that pink dust left, so I'm just going to put a little bit on for cheeks, as all ice lollies have cheeks. <laughs> I think maybe like a centre band for between the pieces of my sunglasses. Yeah, I'll we'll pop those on there. Now because of the shape, they're bending a little bit of these glasses, so I'm going to have to put a small piece of paste just behind them to hold them up. Then I'm going to put some teardrops onto my lolly so it looks a bit like it's melting. So we'll put a couple at the top, again just dust with a bit of pink. And then this is a pale blue that I've rolled nice and thin. This is going to be for covering my board. So I've cut a rectangle out which is going to hopefully just fit around my ice lolly. You can see I didn't quite roll that fondant big enough to cover the board so I'm just stretching it out a bit more with my rolling pin there. And let's cut it off at this point here. So I'm not covering the whole board in blue, you can if you want, um, but I decided I was going to do the bottom bit in green. Just cut around the edge of the board. And then I've just got a little bit of a blue powder. Again, the edible powders. Um, I'm just dusting that onto the top of my board. Just so the blue is not too flat in colour. 
On the video it doesn't show up very well, the blue in the fondant, but it does look a little bit darker in real life. So I'm now repeating that kind of process with a pale green. Although I'm seeing what happens if I cut a smaller angle. It wasn't big enough, I did cut out a little bit more just then, um, but I didn't show you that on screen, so apologies. So we're just pressing it around that cake and then we're just going to trim off the edges all the way around like that and you can finish it off with a ribbon as well once you've done this so we're just cutting the green fondant now to meet the blue and I'm just going to put a little oval of the green at the top of my lolly as well you don't really see that from the above angle and I've kind of mixed a bit of all my colors that I had left so my blue my green and my pink together to give me this color for my lollipop stick so I rolled it out it's not overly thin this bit and we just cut so it's a bit curved at the bottom straight either side and then I'm just going to press that onto my board. I'm just going to dust a little bit of colour just around the edges so it doesn't look too flat. It's actually just got a little bit of blue and pink powder that I was using earlier together on my brush for that. And then let's put some more teardrop shapes of pink on there. So again my lolly looks like it's melting just a little bit. And let's see where this one should go. Yeah, I think down there. So near the other one but a little bit further down. So you just finish that off with a ribbon around the board. And there it is, all finished. So not too complicated for this one today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.